Hey guys, it's Merlini and it's Theory Crafting Tuesday. And for this one, I will present to you a little puzzle that I concocted myself. And this one is called the OD Stash Puzzle. And there are prizes for this. Uh, the winner will receive 2x bettable arcana and you have one week to submit your answer. And one submission per person, please. You can go to www.merlinidota.com slash OD stash to submit answers. And it requires an email so that we can notify the winner. If you don't think you're going to win, you don't have to put your email. So, what is the stash? Harbinger, the Outworld Devourer, is under heavy fire from the enemy team. He must self-astral to keep himself alive. His team throws as many heals on him as possible before the astral hits. What's the maximum amount of HP that Harbinger can gain during the effect of a level 4 self astral, aka stash, the self targeted astral cast healing? What is the maximum amount of healing that can uh, heal an OD during those 4 seconds? Uh, and of course there are going to be a lot of assumptions uh, for this rather difficult puzzle. He starts with 1 HP right before the stash. Uh, he is level 25 with 6 items of your choosing. OD has 4 level 25 allies, each with 6 items of your choosing. Uh, you have perfect micro, insane micro, and can perfectly manipulate each of these 4 allies and OD himself. And you also have as much time as possible, or as much as you need, to set up for the stash. And you don't have to like do this in Dota 2, you can just theorycraft it, uh, and give me a simple number after your calculations. And the second part of the assumptions, no projectiles will affect Harbinger during the self-targeted astral cast. And uh, some actually will go through in actual play, but for the purposes of this puzzle, we will assume that none will affect Harbinger during the stack. Uh, this includes things like Leech Seed Heal and Death Pulse uh, are the notable ones. And only auras, buffs, and HP regen will heal Harbinger during the stack. And assume an aura linger time of 4 seconds. Again, not exactly true to what will actually happen in Dota 2, but it will simplify things uh, a lot for you. And healing check intervals are every 1 second. Uh, for Heart of Tarrasque, it will uh, check your maximum HP every 1 second. Uh, Huskar's Inner Vit, it will check your uh, stats every 1 second and heal every 1 second and they will only tick in integers and you round to the closest integer per instance and of course there will be some restrictions this allowed heroes oracle his false promise makes it way too difficult uh io uh, i actually think you can overheal uh and heal more than od's hp pool uh, if you have an io bloodseeker there's some like weird stuff that you can do like let's say get up a million creeps and then cast blood rage on him and then ha make od have a radiance and there's some like lingering it, it's just way too weird rubik uh you can potentially steal more spells uh and have more than four heroes uh with the rubik so kind of took him out and phoenix just because he has some weird interactions and disallowed items refresher orb or else you could just refresh orb every single thing and that's just I'm not going to deal with that. Uh, Bloodstone and Aegis are also out of the question. Aegis, you could just uh, have it at the end of the five minutes and he'd heal 100%. That's too silly. Uh, mode, no WTF, no Year Beast for his refresher and just regular all pick. And Leeching Life is not allowed via items or open wounds. Again, this is to disallow something like him attacking a creep and then like... I don't know, stacking minus armor and just like one-shotting to full. That's just, you know, I don't want that to happen either. Uh, theoretical infinites are not allowed. Uh, for example, if projectiles could indeed hit him, you can't kite like an infinite amount of death pulses and have him hit while he's astral. Again, that's it, it won't actually hit him, but if it were the case, it's not allowed. And I tried to cover every weird interaction, but of course I probably didn't get him all, so this is subject to change. Um, so there you have it basic premise, the assumptions, restrictions, and you can go to www.merlinidota.com slash OD stash to submit your answers. Again, a winner will receive 2x arcana, bettable arcana, and uh, the winner is the person who has the most HP and correct calculations. 
Uh, so here's also some helpful information for your level 25 Harbinger with no items or buffs. It's listed here uh, and it will also be on the website. So there you have it. That is the OD Stash Puzzle. Uh, good luck, you guys. Uh, took me quite some time to figure out my answer. I don't even know if it's the maximum possible, but it's pretty darn high. Uh, so good luck once again, and hopefully we have some lucky winners come one week from now. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe to me at youtube.com slash MerliniDota. You can also follow me on Twitter and Twitch at MerliniDota. Thank you guys, and good luck once again.